In last week's video, I showed you how I take notes on my iPad, link below if you haven't seen that yet. But in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I make and use my digital planner on my iPad. Disclaimer, this is a pretty basic planner, nothing fancy, no hyperlinks, no mood, dream, goal trackers, all that stuff because I personally get quite overwhelmed by those types of planners. So when I created my planner, I really made sure to strip it down to the bare necessities. You know, the basic, the basic components, the basic functions of a planner. So it's what works for me, it's what keeps me organized and ensures that I am keeping up with my deadlines. So hopefully that's okay with you guys. Now that I have um, hyped up my planner enough, before we begin, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't yet. I would love to have you be a part of our little family. First, I'll show you how I use my planner. So my color coding system, how I enter deadlines, all that kind of stuff. By the way, I will be uploading this planner template into a Google Drive folder, which I will link below for you guys. And I really wanted to show you guys first how I actually use my planner rather than show you how I made it because I'm assuming that most of you would prefer just using my template rather than making your own but if you do want to make your own planner and personalize it I'll show you how later on so this is an overview of my planner from last month I made this on Photoshop but I actually use it and annotate it on GoodNotes so we're on GoodNotes right now so at the start of every month the first thing I do is write the dates and the little gray boxes and I prefer doing this because changing the dates on Photoshop for each month is just way too much work so I'd rather write them in manually so I use the fountain pen color black size 0.4 then whenever I have a deadline I just write them in whatever day they're due so I put a bullet point followed by the class then a colon then the actual task I use the ball pen size 0.3 and the color depends on the class so my color coding system for this planner is according to class so one color per class because I find that that makes it way easier to distinguish the tasks so I use purple for marketing teal for social science green Green for field methods, this salmon pink color for developmental psychology, yellow for NSTP, this maroonish color for YouTube, and then black for all the general stuff. And for special dates like birthdays or any significant event, I like to doodle on the boxes. Then whenever I finish the deadline or task, I highlight it. And this really works for me because it makes it easy for me to spot which ones I haven't done yet. And again, the highlight color depends on the class and I use the size 1.4. I also like like to highlight the day because to be honest more often than not I do not know what day it is so highlighting the days just makes it easier for me to spot the current day <laughs> so I highlight the gray box using this banana yellow color size 3.05 then moving on to the left grid this is where I write what I need to film that week so that I can plan ahead prepare my outline all that then for the extra features here on the month side I put a filled in yellow shape on top of the current month then for this little date section in the upper left I like to highlight any key dates so birthdays holidays and days where I expect to receive a paycheck <laughs> so that's really it that's how I use my digital planner my monthly calendar planner but now I'm actually gonna show you my other planners so I have a gratitude journal a devotions journal and a money tracker and I will upload all those templates in the Google Drive folder but I will not be showing you how I made those because we do not want this video to be two hours long so I'm just gonna walk you through how I use them so that you can use them too if you want to. First we have the gratitude journal and this is a journal that I use to write one thing that I'm thankful for that day or honestly sometimes I just write down everything that happened during that day. On the upper right corner we have sort of like a mood tracker so there are three smiley faces and I just highlight which one best represents how I felt that day and then on the upper left corner we have a little gray box again this is where I input the date. Then for the devotions journal this this is where I write my key learnings, maybe like a verse that stood out during my devotion that day. So on the upper right corner, we have the gray box again, and this is where I write down the date. Then for my money tracker, this is where I write down all my expenses and income. In the first table, the table on top, this is where I write down all my expenses. So I write the date, what the expense was, and then how much it was. For the second table, this is where I write down my income. So again, I write the date, then the stream of income it's from, how much I got and then I divide that. So 
So I have tights, which is 10%. Then we have bank one, my shopping account, spending account, which gets 20%. And then lastly, we have bank two, which is my savings account, which gets 70%. Then there's a total at the bottom again, so I can quickly see how much I earned and how much I spent that month. Now I'm gonna show you how I made my monthly calendar. So I made that using Photoshop, Google Docs and the internet. And by the way, this is gonna be a chill walkthrough slash tutorial. I'm not gonna go super in depth into every single one of the steps because again, we do not want this video to be two hours long. But if you guys do have specific questions about any of the steps, any of the things that I did, just comment those below and I will try my best to answer them. So the first thing I did was make the grids on Google Docs because I don't know if you can make grids on Photoshop. If you can, let me know because I do not know how to do it and making it on Google Docs is definitely the long route. But honestly, Google Docs works fine because when you export it, it's not pixelated, so it's still pretty great quality. So I made a seven by five grid and added five spaces inside each grid. Then I exported that as a PDF. I then inserted that into a blank white photo on Photoshop, then adjusted it to the size I wanted. I then inserted that same grid, but only kept one column. So I deleted the rest. And this is for my filming section. I then added these little gray squares to the upper right corner of each of the boxes. And as you guys saw earlier, this is where I write the dates. I then add text for the days of the week on top top Sunday to Saturday, one per column, of course. Then for the separate table, I put text that say film on top. Of course, if you're not a YouTuber, you can change this to notes or others or to study, you know, up to you. Then to make it a little fancy, <laughs> I added this grid on the side, which I made just using the line tool and text. So this is where I put the months of the year. Honestly, it's just here for aesthetic. Then on top, this is all for aesthetics now, I put the month in the middle. So when I make my template, for the next month, this is the only thing I change, which makes it super convenient for me. I then add two lines on each side. And then on the left corner, I added these dates. Honestly, I only added these because there was like empty space and I saw this on one planner and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that too. <laughs> then on the right corner, I add these icons that I found on a vector website. So I literally just searched up book vector, camera, calendar, heart vector on Google. <laughs> Again, just all for aesthetics. Actually, I'm also gonna show you how I made the cover Sorry, the audio is different because I'm recording this last minute, but I make them on Photoshop. I start with a solid color, then I add a thin rectangle on the side and make it a slightly darker shade of the main color so that it gives the illusion of a shadow. Then I put the notebook title in the middle, then add this gold foil image on top. Then I click create a clipping mask, then I merge both layers and emboss it. There, super easy. So that is it. That is how I make and use my digital planner on my iPad. Again, all the templates will be below for you guys if you want to use them. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next Saturday, 2 p.m. Bye, girl.